I'm going to explain the quantum science that can help us understand how we can experience rapid and profound mind-body transformation with the new system that's been developing since the turn of the millennium. This discovery is described in the book that I wrote called The Floral Hand of God. This was published in 2014. And uh, I'll be going in in a few minutes inside a more controlled environment um, to explain some specific parts of this book which are extremely important for health professionals that work in mind-body healing. But also, hopefully, members of the general public can appreciate this too. What happened at the turn of the millennium is described in here. It was a discovery that happened here in this farm where I live outside of Nashville. And it was, uh, couldn't, could be described, I guess, only as a revelation, a clear dream, that showed me how to extract the healing frequencies from living flowers while they're rooted to the earth without cutting them. So it's a whole new form of flower essence preparation. Um, although other people have come up with the idea that it's good to extract the flowers without cutting them, this is something still separate and completely distinct from that. And it allows every millimeter of the flower to be covered with the extracting water, pure water medium, which enables the full information from the flower to be captured. And then that's collected and highly diluted and it's placed in, in bottles. So when we work with this new form of mind-body transformation, uh, professionally we test the person for their limiting beliefs. This is done with applied kinesiology testing. It's using self, something called self-referential statements, and that's, that's fully described uh, in the book, in the Floral Hand of God book, how all this is done. And then we can, in the clinic, in real time, see before and after changes that are astonishing. For example, this is the first flower, this is the end of March, and this is the first flower in this forest that blooms. And I had to shoot this today because, because it's so beautiful. But this flower contains information, coded information, that when it's placed in drops in the mouth, immediately transfers that information and changes the way our stored memory is, is drawn into us and changes our reality. So you can have the person make this self-referential self statement I allow myself to receive. And the normally facilitated or strong muscle will weaken when the person needs this flower. In other words, they are not allowing himself to receive. Place the drops in the water, in the tongue. Instantaneously or nearly instantaneously, that's transmitted by quantum means that are described in this book. And all of a sudden, a couple of moments later, when you retest that phrase, I allow myself to receive, which initially failed. The normal muscle was weak. And then all of a sudden, that's the response to that same phrase, I allow myself to receive, is true. So nearly instantaneously, the person went from not receiving to receiving. So I watched that for, before I started writing the book, for 12 years. And it was repeated by hundreds of health professionals. And so I thought, this is, this is absolutely astonishing. What's happening? And that's what uh, inspired me to take a year to crunch my poor brain to write part two of the book, which contains information, vital information, which explains how we just are crazy <laughs> not to be using this method of 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 potentiating very rapid transformation. So when we get inside, I will, uh, I'll refer to specific parts of the book because, you know, people are enormously busy. So I'm going to actually give you page numbers <laughs> that I really highly recommend you look at. Uh, obviously, I want you to read the whole book. But um, I really want you to, uh, because there's some quantum science in here, uh, uh, science that was uh, done with the assistance of Dr. William Tiller, who I consider the preeminent scientist in the world. Certainly he's the most senior, the grandfather of body-mind medicine from the standpoint of science. Uh, over 40 years of his life has been dedicated to that. As a senior scientist, uh, occupying a principal post at Stanford for many years, 
but way beyond that, um, having this profound insight into spirit as a result of his uh, lifelong dedication to that. And then another scientist from Switzerland also did some very interesting work on these uncut flower essences to show how they work. So I'll point that out, but I just wanted to share with you and kind of repeat several times what happens. Okay, sunlight <coughs> is a quantum phenomenon. The quanta of light hit this, but what's in that quanta? It, information is, is being transmitted through light and through other forms of non-visible radiation where apparently each flower is an extraordinary antenna ray. There's a whole part of the book here, short, but it's a part of the book that was written by Dr. Tiller for me, explaining the extraordinary dynamics of a flower as in a very advanced antenna array. These things absorb information. Now, the information is rather a mystery, and that's what the last 14 years of my life have been dedicated to with, I must say, a lot of fun because I do this clinically. You find out what information is in each flower because everyone is distinct. And this place is filled with flowers, but only a few of them have the transformational information. And so over 20 of them come from the forest here. There's about 160 acres around me. And the rest of it comes from places around the world uh, that I go where I find highly energized regions where these special flowers grow. So the energy comes in. It's taken in by this extraordinary antenna ray, and it's held in the semi-crystalline nature of the liquid phase of the flower petals and the whole flower. And when the water comes in contact with that in the extracting medium, which completely surrounds the living flower, rooted to the earth, to maintain the piezoelectric characteristics of the earth, that information is captured and then put in a bottle. And when you put it in the mouth or in water and then drink it, the genie in the flower is liberated and we get mind-spirit transformation because on a quantized level that information is transmitted to us probably faster than the speed of light, which is really interesting. And that model is explored in the floral hand of God. Before quickly reviewing my book from the beginning, I want to call your attention first to Appendix 5 on page 299. There you will see graphs that are possible because of a new science that combines advanced spectroscopy with highly sensitive vortex antennas that are used primarily in military applications. That enabled the direct measurement of the effects of uncut flower frequencies that I have discovered as they influence what the scientific investigator calls the free electron cloud surrounding living systems which is typically called the aura. What struck me powerfully when I saw the test results is the fact that what is being measured and displayed is a direct measurement of frequency emissions from the human body as it is interacting with the transformational flower frequencies and not the derived measurements that I have observed in every electrodermal screening system and other subtle energy measurement device that I've ever seen. And for the folks in applied kinesiology that have long questioned whether there is any basis to believe that there are vibrational emissions that can pass through a bottle and be measured scientifically, this provides clear evidence that they can be measured and that they do exert an influence. This took place without placing a magnet over the test substance. So for rapid screening of many potentially therapeutic substances, before we do lingual testing of anything we are considering giving as part of the treatment, if the substance to be tested is highly energetic and bioactive, and that's a big if, it surely can exert an influence on the human body by simply placing it on the body. But of course, that doesn't mean we should abandon lingual testing. In the first frame on the left, we see the free electron cloud around the test subject in the resting state before she held a floor live essence in her hand. The spike waveform depicts the disorganized energy associated with heavy stress. In the second frame, when the floral live essence called Freedom Flowers Blend was held in the hand, we see a strong attenuation of the initial spike, indicating a dramatic improvement in coherence 
around her entire body and better organization that correlates with less stress. And in the third frame, when the floral live essence was dropped on the tongue, we see a harmonization occur such that the initial stress response spike is entirely gone. This is a scientific result that all practitioners of integrative care and energy modalities should be aware of. In Part 1, Chapter 1, I'm really pleased to have published a short but clear explanation of the origins of what is generally called energy psychology, explaining how and when it arose from the field of applied kinesiology. It explains for the general public the important concept of reversal and how that is evident when we evaluate self-referential statements with properly performed muscle testing. The other chapters in Part 1 recount extraordinary peak experiences I have had over the 37 years that I have been a practitioner using medicinal plants, and particularly the special occurrences which gave rise to my developing floral live uncut flower essences as a new way to eliminate the deepest core stressors buried in the subconscious mind. Part 2 explores theories and presents new scientific findings that came out of the clinical work I've been doing with frequencies from uncut flowers since the turn of the millennium. Each chapter builds upon the preceding chapter, so I hope you will read all of them. I want to draw special attention, however, to the description of a profound phenomenon that results from emissions that come out of the bottles of these uncut flower essences. This is described starting on page 160. It scientifically validates the phenomenon that is referred to as space conditioning. What that means is that when my uncut flower essences were rigorously tested in a controlled lab space, they emitted a frequency band through the glass walls of the bottles that had the ability to alter the thermodynamic free energy of the whole space, that is, to condition the space in the room to a higher level of coherence. The real significance of that is when a space becomes more highly coherent, there is less entropy and a higher degree of organization. That greater coherence really helps our nervous system operate more efficiently. In chapter 24 on page 183, in the top graph, we see signal coherence when the measurement probe is placed inside the container of a combination uncut flower essence. That is likened to the effects of the essence when ingested orally, compared to the signal coherence of the same combination uncut flower essence measured outside its container, which gives an indication of the effects of the essence when sprayed into a room. They are profoundly different, and that is a huge finding with respect to how subtle frequencies can influence living systems and the environment they occupy. When we look at the upper graph, we see much longer and lower frequency wavelengths that have a harmonizing character. When we look at the lower graph, we see frequencies of a much shorter wavelength that seem to connote what we might think of as an energizing effect. Part 3 is a rapid reference guide that explains the striking mind and spirit obstacles that can be removed quickly by administering specific flower frequencies in each product. It presents the self-referential statements associated with each of the products so that they can be clinically tested to verify that they have caused transformation. There are over 100 self-referential statements, and it is truly useful to be able to uncover horribly destructive beliefs that are hiding in the unconscious, and truly heartening to see them leave. One of the really troublesome unconscious beliefs is listed on page 240, and it's associated with a product called End to Panic. Number nine, of the self-referential statements is, if I fail, I won't be loved. And a more chilling example of a destructive self-referential statement that is also cleared with that same combination essence is this one, number five. If I allow myself to receive love, it will kill me. It's hard to imagine that these things are buried in the unconscious, but they are. And when they leave, we really see some major changes in long-term health. Many of the limiting beliefs that people hold and that are identified in the book are staggering when you read them, and it is a joyous event when those limiting beliefs are gone.